In this lesson, we'll learn about using Solver. Excel Solver is a numerical add-in to assist in optimizing values in a spreadsheet. And while it can't solve every problem, it can be very useful as a what-if tool. So before we learn how to use Solver effectively, we want to make sure that the add-in is activated in your Excel program. So click the File tab, go to Options, choose Add-ins, select the Solver add-in, and then down here under Manage, make sure Excel add-ins is selected here and click Go. Choose the Solver add-in and click OK. Now click your Data tab, and Solver should be all the way on the right-hand side here. Now there are three primary components we need to be familiar with before we use Solver. So we have a target cell, which in our example here is cell B20. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to optimize and find the optimal schedule for the week for these employees based on these factors. This person can't work on Tuesday and Thursday, this person can't work on Wednesday, and so on. So we have a couple of limitations, and then we need to have eight employees Monday through Friday on each day, and then 10 employees on Saturday and Sunday. Our goal is to make the shortfall as close to zero as possible. So we're gonna use Solver to help us determine a schedule for our employees. We have the target cell, which we want to be zero. We have the variable cells, which are going to be B4 through H15. And then we have the constraints, which are here, the limitations. And so we're gonna set up each of these within the solver window. So we're gonna select our target cell, B20, click the solver button, and we have several pieces of information that we need to put into the solver window. The objective cell goes here, that's B20. And here we're going to choose either a maximum value, a minimum value, or a value of. Let's set zero as our value for our target cell of B20. The variable cells are gonna be here, B4 through H15. And in this section of the window is where we're gonna set up the constraints. So we're gonna add our first constraint, click Add. And we're gonna choose this Tuesday for Sam Jones as our first cell reference. And we're gonna say that this cell has to be zero. So C4 equals zero as our constraint. And we're gonna add that. Then the next one, we're going to select Thursday for Sam Jones because he can't work on Thursday either. And we're gonna say E4 needs to be equal to zero. We're gonna add that one as well. And we're gonna add these individually as we go. This person can't work on Wednesday. So we're gonna make that zero as well. Click add. This person can't work Monday through Friday, so we're gonna select Monday through Friday here, and we're gonna say that those need to be equal to zero as well. Add that. This person is gone the entire week, so we're gonna choose Monday through Sunday, and we're gonna say that that all needs to be zero. Add. And that this person can't work Monday or Friday, so we're gonna choose Monday needs to be zero, and Friday needs to be zero as well. And when I click cancel, we're gonna be taken back to our solver parameters window. And you'll see that all of these constraints that we just selected have been added to this list here. Now we're gonna add one more constraint. And this is because we wanna make sure that all of the numbers within this range from B4 through H15 need to be whole numbers. They can't be partial numbers or decimals. So we're gonna choose B4 through H15. And under the dropdown here, we're gonna choose BIN, which means binary. Click Add, and then click Cancel. Takes us back to our Solver Parameters window. So now we have all of our constraints set up here, and we're going to click Solve. And so you'll see that Solver found a solution for us. All constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied. 
so we can keep the solver solution and click OK. Now in some cases, you might see a window pop up that says solver was unable to find a solution, but it did the best it could basically. So in that case, you would click OK and you would take a look at your results and see if you needed to modify anything here and there, here or there. As I said, it's not going to be able to solve every problem, but it is a good starting point and it is a good way to find a solution for some of these problems where you have multiple criteria. Go ahead and click OK and you'll see that Solver found a solution that works for everybody. Sam Jones isn't working on Tuesday or Thursday. This person isn't working Monday through Friday. This person doesn't work all week. And then this person isn't here Monday through Friday. Although, as I said, it's not perfect. Tamara Walsh doesn't have any working days, so at this point you can change and move things around if necessary. But our goal was met, our shortfall is zero, and we were able to use Solver to do that. And that concludes our lesson on using Excel's solver feature.